Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going to be talking about overloading methods. This is going to be a pretty short video, but uh, overloading methods is actually pretty easy. So with that being said, we're familiar with static and instance methods. Uh, so what is this overloaded method thing, right? So let's just say we have a uh, class of you know people and we can search, uh, you know, maybe it talks to a database and we can um, search by, you know, maybe uh, last name, first name, maybe sort that uh, through A to Z or Z to A or return, you know, 200 rows or maybe 500 rows. So obviously there would be a pain in the butt if we had to create a method for each each one. So what we do to, uh, to solve this problem is we uh, overload that method and really overloading that method is pretty simple and we'll show you a concrete example of this. So for instance, uh, we have one method now called dog information that returns um, you know, just the name and the weight. So let's go ahead and create another method, or actually just overload the method. And we do that simply by adding uh, parameters. So we'll do a string uh, name, this dot name equals name, and we'll go ahead and change the right line so that it's apparent that we're using the overloaded method, uh, overloaded to, and we'll go ahead and create one more. We just use the same name and just the only difference is the parameter list. So string name, int weight, this dot name equals name, this dot weight equals weight. And we'll go ahead and one more time this. Perfect. Okay. Now, when we run this right now, we're going to be using our first method, right? Uh, panda weight is 92. So let's go ahead and then call the second method, panda.dog information, and we'll just do that by adding a new name, pandamonium. And we can run this. And you'll see that we called the, uh, you know, the overloaded, um, you know, that second overloaded method. And we'll do one more. And a bear. And we'll weigh, what, 98 pounds this time. Okay. So we can go ahead and run this. And then you can see we're calling the third, uh, you know, the third method. So that's really what uh, overloaded methods are about. Uh, typically, the most common use of overloading a method is a constructor. So let's go ahead and delete some of this stuff here. Let's look in our constructor. Okay, so we have a string name and weight. Maybe, um, you know, we'll go ahead and do public dog. Uh, let's say we don't want to have a weight. We don't know the name or the weight, so we'll do string name. And we can just copy this stuff and remove the weight. So now what we'll do is um, <coughs> we'll create. Uh, let's see. We'll use we'll use Tinkerbell for an example. So we don't know the weight of Tinkerbell. So now when we do uh, Tinkerbell dot dog information, we'll go ahead and run this and our weight should be blank. Or zero, rather, because it's an integer, not a string. So that's it for today's lesson. Uh, again, we learned how to overload uh, methods and, uh, you know, specifically a constructor uh, also, which is extremely useful. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to uh, post on Nextar TV and join us for the uh, next lesson. Thanks, guys.